Hello everyone. This video is about the theme options of the stamp theme. And um, from your dashboard, you can click on theme options. And because the theme has um, a large number of options, I'm not going to exemplify all of them. I'm just going to show uh, show them here on the dashboard and uh, on some I'm going to show you an example. So for on your general tab you can turn on or off the responsiveness, you can turn on or off the retina screen detection, you can also control the width, the maximum width of the center area, so in, uh, sorry, in this case uh, the width is limited here on the sides to 1080. Uh, for instance, if you reduce this value to 800 and save. Now let's uh, refresh our page. So before it was here where I have my mouse. And now the content here is limited on the center to 800 pixels. So this gives you total flexibility and allows you to create uh, really different uh, layouts with the theme. You can also turn on or off the IDX calls to load content. Um, it's a cool feature that makes the website uh, faster because uh, most of the files are only loaded once. Then you have here a part about the text where you can set up uh, the headings font, the body font. You can also set up an extra font. These fonts, the theme includes more than 60 fonts, uh, which are the most, I would say, the most uh, popular from the Google Font directory. But you can also add more fonts uh, with a free plugin that I, I explain how to do that on the theme instructions. Uh, and you can also decide the fonts default styles, the style that will be applied on certain parts of the theme. So you have here a lot of options to control the, the fonts. Um, in terms of colors, you can you can decide if you want to use um, uh, these different colors for each post. You can turn them on or off um, here. So this is the first option. Then you can set up a background pattern for the website. You, you will, now you have here a lot of options related with colors with a side background, with text, with body text color, thumbnails color, thumbnails opacity, lines color, shadow color, well, a lot of things as you can see. I'm not going to, to do anything or exemplify anything here on this part. Also for the buttons you have here a lot of, a lot of options. And the colors continue here for the preloader, for the tooltips. And uh, here, on, at the end, the very end of the general tab, you can decide if you want to have the right sidebar on or off by default. So going through the branding tab, this is where you can set up your logos. Uh, the regular logo, logo for Retina. You can also adjust the margins for the logo. This part is, this is about the, the logo that's shown under the menu. And if you want to use the persistent menu, which is uh, the one that comes here now when you scroll down, you can also have a different logo here and uh, also for normal screens and retina. And you can also adjust the margin. Obviously, you can also set up a fav icon image for, the, for your website. Now going to the header tab. This uh, header tab has also a lot of options and um, these options, this header tab covers all this part of the theme until here and um, probably you have seen on the different previews that uh, that they have different uh, layouts and different uh, options. On some this menu is shown, on others it, uh, it isn't uh, also on this menu. Then you have different colors, then you have here different heading, heading this line. Um, so you can control all that here. You can control the, the the height of this uh, colored border, it can be also multicolored or a solid color. You can turn on or off the small bar, which is this one here that's above the menu. And for the bar, you can make it fixed or make it scroll. And then you have here 
a lot of options once again related with the colors with height uh, with the font size obviously you can put some text here you can also add an extra menu for this bar which is what I have here this is a menu a regular WordPress menu that you can append here you can just select the menu um, and adjust the menu margin buttons if you want the social network links these links will be shown here on the right side I don't have it here on the this is the main preview here I have them also the search you can turn it on or off here and also control the colors of the search for the main menu once again uh, options related with the, with the height with the colors with the font with the padding with the font weight you can this uh, these subheadings that you see here they are that are in gray they are totally option optional but you can also control them here with the font the font weight and their color you can control everything here on this part and you have here also control total control for the sub menu and for the persistent menu which I already spoke about and also the mobile menu um, which comes from the right side with a, within a bar you can also control here the colors so this may seem a lot of uh, options and probably you, you think that it's confusing but because the theme has, has the schemes that you see on the preview they are included so you can just come here and import or export the, um, the options in your case if you wanna grab the color schemes that I have each one of them you can just select the option to import and um, and it's and it's done you have all the all the colors then you can make your own small adjustments these files are also included uh, with a theme like I told you and uh, I have a small video tutorial showing how to use that those those files so going through the footer which is in terms of type of options it's really similar to the header you have you have uh, you can turn it on or off and then you have all the options related with the color with the text uh, alignment with a you can also set up a background image or pattern uh, on the theme preview I don't know if you notice it but um, we have here this is a widgetized area and this is a page content that we added after the footer and um, you can also append a, um, a page before or after the footer and you can do that here you can turn it on or off and when you turn it on you can come here and select any page that you want to append to the footer. This is a cool feature because it allows you to build um, any type of footer that you want and you can still have here your widgetized area uh, if you if you need it. Um, so in terms of blog um, you have here some options related with a post uh, with a single post width. In this case I'm using the same width as the website. And then you have here um, Lot of options which are basically just turning on or off certain parts of the blog you can you can show or hide the date show or hide the author show or hide the sharing button so all of that you can do it you can do here and the portfolio is very similar to the blog in terms of options uh, it's just turning on or off uh, things that you want or don't want to see on them on the portfolio part as for the translations, um, the themes allow the theme is fully compatible with the WPML plugin. But if you are only going to use one language, you don't need to to do to go anywhere else than this tab. You have all the translations here that are needed, ready to to be used. So if you are only going to use one language, just translate everything here. If you are going to use uh, WPML or another plugin that's based on the W at MO and WPO files, then you should say here that you want to use that method. And um, in that case, it's not a big deal, but, but uh, once again, if you have only one language, I suggest that you do everything here. Uh, finally, you have here the custom scripts part on where you can add the Google Analytics tracking code. You can add your own custom CSS and your own custom JavaScript. In the advanced settings panel, you have here uh, total control of the slugs that the theme um, has. The slugs are the, um, the, the, the parts of the URL that are coming from the theme, so you can change them here. 
and here under you can decide about the Visual Composer integration if it's integrated with the theme um, let's say with a theme tailored version or if, or if you want a, a version that's closer to the original uh, Visual Composer. I suggest that you keep this option as it is um, because I, I, I think the theme behaves better if it doesn't load all the styles and all the, the stuff that uh, Visual Composer has and most of them you will not need it. Um, so I think that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.